Dari Usman ibni Affan berkata, Aku mendengar Nabi SAW bersabda, Sesiapa yang membaca, Bismillahilladzi la yadurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama, wa huwa sami'ul alim. Yang bermaksud, Dengan nama Allah, Yang dengan namanya, Tidak ada sesuatu pun yang dapat memberikan kemudaratan di bumi mahupun di langit. Dialah yang maha mendengar lagi maha mengetahui. Sebanyak tiga kali, maka dia tidak akan ditimpa bala yang datang secara tiba-tiba sehingga subuh. Dan barang siapa yang membacanya ketika subuh sebanyak tiga kali, maka dia tidak akan ditimpa bala secara tiba-tiba sehingga petang, iaitu malam. Hadis rawahu Abu Dawud menurut Syekh Shu'ib Al-Arnud, hadis ini adalah Hasan. Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, and good morning anak-anak. Uh, kita jumpa lagi. Eh, lagi satu sesi dalam perlis tuition online bahasa Inggeris, English language and I am Cikgu Azrul Rizal Azizi. Okay, now before we start, uh, I would like to recall back what we have uh, learned in the previous session on writing comprehension. Okay, today what are we are going to do is that we are going to, kita macam mana kita nak aplikasikan Okay, apa yang kita belajar, what we have learned earlier. So, we, we, I will show you how are you going to apply it in writing. skill atau kemahiran berfikir aras tinggi. Okay, I am going to concentrate on this five uh, question words for you today. Okay, now, how are we going to write a short story based on this question? Uh, one hitch, five W. Okay, uh, before we start, uh, there's a thing I want to share with you. Ada satu benda yang I think I need to share with you because some of my children in school, they still have problem in this area. We are going to talk about a lot of grammar aspect today. Many have been touched by teacher Azmira, but I'm going to show you, okay, what is verb to be or verb agreement. Okay, uh, uh, if you look at the table here, okay, pronouns, I, you, he, she, they, we, okay, present and past. Uh, verb to be for I is am. I is the only personal pronouns that use the verb to be am and you we use are he she we use is they and we we, we use are singular and plural okay singular and plural he she is singular they we are plural but you are a little bit different you even though it's singular but it's using are okay that's the rules okay in past we will change M to was, R to were, is to was, and R to were. Okay, he, she, we become what? I will show you. Okay, there are only three verb to be. M is and R. Okay, in the present tense. But if we change it, if we want to write in past tense, okay, is will become was, and R will become were. In the sentence, present, he is walking to school now. He is walking to school now. But if you change it into past tense, okay, past continuous, so it become, is, 
is about the same. The sentence is about the same. The verb will not be changed, will not be changed at all. But the verb to be, he was walking to school just now. Sebentar tadi. Okay, these are one of the aspect we are going to discuss on how to write the short stories. Okay, one of the grammar aspect in writing. Okay, next. Okay, now we go to lesson proper for today. Now, kalau kita pilih satu tajuk, contoh now, uh, it's not late, it's not too late for me to wish you uh, selamat hari raya. Okay, I forgot to wish you earlier just now. Okay, kalau kita nak buat, for example, we want to write a short story on how tangan terkena bunga api, contoh. Okay, sparkles. Okay, now we go back to what I mentioned earlier. Ask questions. 5W and 1H. 5W and 1H. The one that we discussed earlier. Okay, if you look at the table there, the spider web. Okay, this is one of the way how are you going to write? How are you going to brainstorm ideas and to write down? Okay, we will discuss one by one before we go on how to write. Okay, ask question 5W1H that we discussed earlier. The 5W, the who, the where, the why, the when and the how. Okay, now we look at the first aspect, the who. Okay, the who here that actually we are using it for only people and it is used okay to ask question and in this aspect of question you must know articles pronouns singular plural nouns adjective and quantifiers okay i believe that teacher azmira have touched a lot of this grammar aspect okay this is what I discuss with her when I teach you writing. She will be touching on a lot of grammar aspects, so you will be able to apply what she have taught you in how to write. Okay, articles, pronoun. Same if you ask the question what. In one of the aspect, what is for object and animals, and it's also we we'll be uh, talking about articles, pronouns, singular, plural nouns, adjective, quantifiers. You need to know all this for you, uh, for you to make you to make you a better uh, writer, a storyteller. Okay. Now we go to actions. In what you must know tenses. Just now we discuss. Okay, verb to be and verb to have. Okay, you must know this. Okay, if you look at all the green uh, words there, these are the grammar aspect that you need to know to make you a better writer, storyteller, or to make you uh, more. Uh, how to say, uh, to make you understand uh, Untuk membuatkan kamu jadi seorang penulis yang baik Kamu perlu tahu semua tata bahasa di sini Grammar aspect Okay Kemudian Kamu, kita bercakap tentang where Di mana Where Okay, di sini Kita akan bercakap tentang Place and locations Tempat atau kedudukan satu benda Dan apa grammar aspect atau Tata bahasa that you need to know is compulsory for you to know all this. I hope you jot down all the things there, and you have to go through. Okay, mana bidang-bidang aspect uh, that you are not very familiar of, you need to do homework. Okay, if you want to write a good story, you want to write a good good comprehension, you must know all this grammar aspect. Okay. Uh, selain pada grammar aspect, you must also know a lot of words. Like I say, use dictionary to seek for words. The words that you need to write. Okay, we are uh, we are Malaysians. It's either you are Malay, Chinese, or Indians. But if you are Malay, then you tend to think in bahasa Melayu. Kita fikir dalam bahasa Melayu. So, kamu boleh jot down, brainstorm ideas, tulis satu cerita uh, dalam bahasa Melayu, then you have to change the word. You have to change it into English. You have to look for a proper word to change the word that you need to write the story. Okay? Place and location. Uh, you must know 
preposition of place. Preposition ada banyak preposition of time, preposition of place. Okey, yang pertama kamu kena tahu in, at, on, along dan banyak lagi. Ini adalah contoh. Okey, in, at, on, along. Saya tak muat nak bubuh semua. I cannot fit all the preposition in that column. So, you have to go through. And then, kita bercakap tentang when. Yang 5W tadi. Okay, when, bila. When, automatically when we talk about when, then we are talking about time and sequence. Sequence of a story, time when it is happening. So, yang ini kita akan masukkan juga di sini yang bahasa Melayu say penanda wacana or discourse markers. Okay, kamu kena masuk. To write a good, a really good story, your sequence of the story mesti teratur dan elok. Okay, kemudian kamu kena tahu preposition of time. Tadi preposition of place. Sekarang ni preposition of time. In, at, on. Lebih kurang sama but the use in the context are different. If I'm able, I will show you how to use it afterward. Okay, and then the other W is Y. Okay, ini yang kita kata uh, banyak pada kebat. Okay, kerana apa? Sebab dia bagi reasons. Okay, dia bagi reasons atau dia akan bercakap lebih banyak kepada uh, uh, hubungan kita kata cause and effect relationship. Okay. Kita akan guna banyak because for. Okay. Cause and effect relationship. Kemudian kita juga akan banyak menggunakan infinitive to. Okay. Okay. Satu saja infinitive to. If you are using to in a sentence whether it is present tense, past tense, past continuous or whatever it is when there is an infinitive to in front of the verb then dia akan balik kepada root word. Ini adalah basic atau balik perkata akar. Kita tak kata to play, to play, okay? To play, okay? And then dia ada orang who, what, where, when and why. Baik, sekarang ada satu saja H kita akan bincang di sini. That is how, okay? How. Ini juga kebat kepada berfikir aras tinggi. In this part of questioning, you will be dealing a lot on process ataupun distance, measurement, quantity. Okay? Kita akan cakap how much, how long, how far. Banyak di sini. Okay? Ini, this is the table that I create, uh, uh, that I did for you. If you are able to jot down, please jot down everything. Okay, bila kita tulis lagi, kita, bila kita nak tulis uh, cerita, we want to write a story. Uh, this are the thing that we will deal with. Kita akan berkisar tentang yang ini saja. Okay, spider web ini. Okay, next kita akan pergi kepada how to use all this question in writing your short story atau writing your comprehension. Okay, kita sebut tadi pasal Hari Raya, alright? So, takkan kita nak terus cerita pasal kena bunga api? No. Kita akan cerita pasal Hari Raya. So, I purposely choose this topic because kita, we just celebrate Hari Raya and everything is fresh in your memory. Banyak perkara pasal Hari Raya di kepala kamu. Jadi, I purposely choose this topic. Okay, now. Uh, saya letak di sini, I put here half of the circle of the spider web just now ask question we we'll be dealing on uh, who what and where okay who for people saya so, ulang sekali lagi what for object animals and actions and where is for place and locations okay bila kita dapat macam ni when we have things like this macam saya kata tadi do not uh, do not limit your writing when you do not have the words you must always have a dictionary on your hand. Okay? By your side, dictionary. Kamu boleh guna dictionary yang bahasa Inggeris Melayu, English and Malay. Okay? In order for you, if you are writing, then you are stuck with a certain words that you are not sure of, then cepat-cepat. Okay? Seek the word 
in dictionary and it will not stop you from writing. Okay. First, you ask question. Who? Siapa? Okay. Sekarang ni, kita, uh, you are not given a words. You are just given a context to write a story about someone yang terkena cerita pasal hari raya lah. And orang yang terkena tangan dia bunga api. So, uh, in my session earlier, I did discuss when we talk about who, we are going to talk about the main character in the story. Okay, the main character. Okay, I put here Zubay and his family. Okay, Zubay and his family. This is the people in the story. And then I ask the question, the next question is what? Okay, what are they doing? Apa yang mereka buat dalam gambar tu? Okay, kalau gambar dia beri, if not, you are writing freely. You want to write, okay, the picture is in your head. Okay, what are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. Right. And then the next question you are going to ask is where? Di mana? So, these are the things that teacher cannot touch you. A teacher cannot teach you that something that you have to think on your own. Kamu perlu kreatif. Kamu perlu fikir sendiri benda ni. Okay, who? Zubay and his family. What are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. Where? Okay, I put here at his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. Okay, you can write. Okay, celebrating Hari Raya at uh, my grandfather's house, uh, where in in certain area in Perlis, you can write grandfather's house in Arau, grandfather's house, wherever it is. Okay, kemudian, these are the three questions you ask here. Who, what, and where. Okay, who? Zubir and his family. What are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. Where? At his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. And I believe for those who are in year, five, year 4, year 5 and year 6, these are the words that is very familiar to you. You have no problem coming up with all these words. Like I said, you have to have a dictionary on your hand. Ada dictionary di tangan kamu. So, if you are stuck, kamu tersangkut dengan mana-mana perkataan that you are not sure, quickly go to the dictionary and write down. This is how you learn. Okay, uh, saya sendiri pun tak lahir pandai cikgu putih. Saya tak tak lahir, mum plus give me some milk. Uh, kalau saya macam tu, mak saya akan pensan. Okay, I learn. I learn English like you learn. Okay, you have to have a lot of vocabulary and you must have a good understanding on all this grammar aspect. Okay, articles, pronoun, articles, kemudian tenses, how to write in past tense, in present tense, you have to learn this. There's no shortcut, there's no other way. You must understand all the grammar aspect. Tata bahasa, kamu perlu tahu. Perkataan, kamu perlu ada. Okay, kemudian we go to the next one. The next question we're going to ask is uh, when. Okay, I am going to join all these four questions together. Who, what, where and when. So I put it in one slide for you to look at. Ask question when time sequence preposition of time. Bila? Bila Zubir menyambut Hari Raya bersama keluarganya di rumah datuknya di Kampung Baru. When? Last week. Hari Raya is last week. Okay, we celebrate Hari Raya last week. It's still in Hari Raya. But then the, the, the Hari Raya Eve is last week. Okay? Last week. So, when you have all these ideas, you have to put it in one paragraph. So, by right, if you put it last week, meaning you have to write everything in past tense, past continuous, past perfect, past participle, semuanya dalam tu. Okay? Baik, secara, secara khususnya, bila the first question that you need to ask is when? When you are writing a story, bilakah perkara ini berlaku? When did it? When did it took place? Bila? Then you will have a clear idea on the tenses that you are going to use. Jadi bila kamu dah ada when, baru kamu boleh tahu actions. What ni actions yang kamu nak tulis ni tenses je. Okay, dalam past tense atau present tense. Bila kamu nak buat verb to be dia atau verb to have dia dalam present ke dalam past. 
Okay, ini yang banyak berlaku dalam kesalahan bila dalam penulisan. When you are writing, a lot of my children in school when they write, they have, uh, they, they made a lot of mistake in this area. Okay, last week. So when I put it in writing, okay, last week, Zube and his family went to his grandfather house in Kampung Baru Johor. Okay, Kampung Baru Johor tak ada saya tambah. This is to make my writing interesting to read. Okay, menarik untuk orang baca to celebrate Hari Raya Aidilfitri. Dan kamu boleh masukkan di sini perasaan. Okay. How do they feel when they go to their grandfather's house to celebrate? They were happy, they enjoy themselves. Okay, yang tu yang kita dah bincang in my earlier sessions. Okay, masukkan perasaan. How did they feel? Tapi hari ini, I will not uh, discuss on that. I hope you can put it your own. Okay, on your own. Sebab kita dah bincang. So, this is how you are going to practice what you have learned. And what are you going to put in here? Okay, tengok. Kita patah balik, kita tengok who, what, where. Saya akan mulakan dengan soalan when. When is last week? Who is Zubay and his family? What are they doing? Celebrate Hari Raya. And where? At his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru. Okay, this is just nice. The flow is there. Okay, last week Zubay and his family went to his grandfather's house in Kampung Baru Johor to celebrate Hari Raya Aidilfitri. Right, we are concentrating on how to write a short story today. Okay, cerita pendek saja. Okay, kita tidak akan pergi secara detail. Okay, uh, what I want you to do today is that you apply what you have learned earlier in this type of writing. Okay, next slide. Okay. This is uh, the main incident that we want to tell. Perkara utama yang kita nak bincangkan dalam cerita ini. Tangan Zubir terkena bunga api. Okay. Baik. Kita pergi. Soalan saya nak tanya. What happened that night? Apa yang berlaku pada malam hari raya itu? Kita tak perlu, tak boleh terus cerita from when they went to the grandfather's house. Tiba-tiba terus kena mercun. Okay. Cerita kamu... Uh, tidak ada perkembangan And it will not very interesting to read Cerita kamu tidak menarik So kita cerita dulu Before that, what happened? Okay so, uh, I do not have you in front of me uh, For you to come here and write on the whiteboard This is what I actually do When we come up with an idea Kita ada satu-satu idea We share the idea We write it on the whiteboard And then we go and discuss how to put each and every idea in that uh, story. Okay? Tapi sini saya akan bagi semua. I hope you just jot down and you can try to do it on your own. Zubi parents were busy helping to prepare ketupat and lembang for the celebration. Remember or not, earlier we discussed on verb to be, verb agreement. Okay, Zubi parents. Okay, kedua ibu bapa Zubi. Jadi kita pakai word lah, we're busy helping to prepare ketupat for the celebration. Nampak tak? Okay. And then kita tanya soalan. Where is Zubay and what is he doing? Di mana Zubay dan apa dia buat? Okay, kita pergi kepada tajuk utama atau the, the, benda yang utama yang berlaku dalam cerita itu. Okay, look at the picture. What is Zubay doing? Zubay is playing with sparkles. Okay, with firecrackers with sparkles uh, in front of the house at the yard. Okay, Zubi and his sister were in the yard. They were very excited to play with sparkler. Mereka sangat sonok bermain dengan bunga api. Okay, ini cerita yang kita nak bagi tu awal tadi. Okay, the main story we are telling today. Tangan terkena bunga api. Okay. Baik, tengok. What is Zubay? What is he doing? If you look at the question here, I ask two questions in one sentence. Earlier, my session earlier, we asked question by question by question what's happening in one one particular event, one event, one event. Okay, here, I ask two things in one sentence, in one question. Where is Zubay? One question. What is he doing? Apa yang dia buat? Nampak tak yang kita bincang tadi tu? That we discuss just now. Where? 
di mana and what apakah yang dia buat so what is zube and what is he doing zube and his sister look at the picture zube is not alone zube is with her sister he's not alone okey dia tak seorang kesorangan dia main dengan adik dia ada orang dewasa there's no supervision from uh, adults tak ada langsung orang dewasa yang mengawasi perbuatan mereka ini Okay, Zubi and his sister were in the yard. They were very excited to play with sparkler. And then, saya masukkan di sini. Okay, saya kata cerita kita mesti ada perkembangan. Okay, he never asked for permission to light up, to light it up. Dia tak I minta izin pun daripada ibu bapa dia untuk menyalakan. Okay, these are the few words that sometimes kamu sangkut. Minta izin. What is minta izin? Okay. Permission. Guna dictionary. He never asked for permission to light up, to light it up and his parents were unaware of what was going on. Dan ibu bapanya tidak menyedari apa yang berlaku. Kamu tengok sini perkataan ni. Ini yang saya kata tadi. Kamu perlu tahu suffix and prefix. Okay. Banyak perkataan. Aware. Kita... Uh, kita tahu apa berlaku sekali unaware tidak mengetahui tambahan di depan saja you have created a new words okey believe disbelief okey contoh macam tu aware unaware polite impolite you become uh, dia akan jadi macam um, perkataan berlawanan erti lah okey dengan tambah suffix dan prefix saja okey kemudian His parents were unaware of what was going on. Tidak sedar apa yang berlaku. Okey, saya tanya soalan. Kamu tengok sini. Ask question 5W1H. Ini why. Okey, sini kita akan bincang panjang sikit. Kita akan bercakap pasal reasons because or infinitive to. Okey, soalannya. Was it a safe thing to do? Adakah selamat untuk kamu bermain bunga api tanpa pengawasan orang dewasa? Okey. For me, okay, this is my personal view. Memang tak ada bunga api, memang tak ada musuh rumah saya, diharamkan. Tak payah main. Senang. Tapi here, we want to write a story. We want to tell our audience, kita nak beritahu orang yang baca, that playing with sparkles and playing with all these uh, firecrackers are very dangerous. And it is not, actually it's not our culture. Okay? Bukan budaya kita pun. Okay. Dia budaya orang lain, orang lain main dengan pengawasan okay. Itu hak mereka Tapi, for us, for, untuk orang Islam, tak payah main lah okay. Only here, the story is to tell you that it is dangerous to play with all these things okay. What, uh, was it safe to do, uh, safe thing to do? But jawapannya, no, it is not It is very dangerous without a doubt around Sangat bahaya, terutamanya jika tidak ada orang dewasa mengawasi. Okey, soalannya. Kemudian tengok sewa ayat dia. The two siblings were very excited to light up the dangerous sparkler without adult supervision. Baik. Uh, saya pilih pe- uh, satu ayat yang mengandungi, ada banyak juga lah perkataan-perkataan yang susah. Okay, you have to use all this word actually. Kamu jangan larikan diri, do not run from difficult words. Kamu boleh tukar dengan perkataan yang mudah. Tapi, in order for you to write a very interesting story, you have to use uh, words like this. Uh, not to say difficult word, but interesting word. Interesting expression for you to unable your readers to sustain uh, reading your story. To sustain their interest Untuk menarik minat orang Membaca cerita kamu You have to use This type of words Tak boleh okay. Kemudian tak boleh lari dari perkara ini okay. The two siblings Dua adik-beradik okay. Saya boleh cakap sini senang saja The uh, Zubi and his sister Ayat yang mudah Zubi and his sister Tapi saya tulis sini The two siblings Siblings semua maksudnya adik-beradik Were very excited to light up The dangerous sparkler Without Tanpa Adult supervision Ini perkataan besar yang saya guna sini 
pengawasan orang dewasa adult dewasa supervision pengawasan okey gunalah perkataan macam ni in uh, for uh, for you to enable you to write a very uh, interesting story but if you use the same same old same old words okay same old words repeatedly berulang-ulang orang tidak akan berminat untuk membaca cerita kamu so you will not become a very good storyteller okay the two siblings go back to the sentence the two siblings were very excited to light up the dangerous sparkler without adult supervision tanpa pengawasan orang dewasa okay Now, kalau kita tengok daripada awal tadi, cerita ini, yang tadi, kamu tengok di sini. Zubay parents were busy helping to prepare ketupat and lemang for the celebration. Kamu tengok apa yang berlaku cerita dalam kronologi, ada penanda wacana. Okey, ibu bapa dia sibuk di dapur membantu menyediakan juadah hari raya, lemang, ketupat, busy. So, Zubay and his sister were in the yard, ada di halaman rumah. They were very excited to play with sparkler. Mereka seronok bermain bunga api. Okay. Bermain tanpa pengetahuan. He never asked for permission to light it up. Dia tak minta izin pun pada kedai bapa dia untuk menyalakan bunga api itu. And his parents were unaware of what was going on. Okay. Dan ibu bapanya tidak tidak menyedari apa yang berlaku. Sebab tidak diberitahu. They were not told. The children never asked permission. Okay, was it a safe thing to do? No, it is very dangerous. So, the two siblings were very excited to learn up the dangerous partner without adult supervision. Tanpa, okay, pengawasan orang dewasa. Okay, dah cerita tadi, mereka balik kampung, nak salat hari raya. Malam hari raya itu, ibu bapa sibuk di dapur. They are busy in the kitchen preparing all the lemang and the ketupat for hari raya and the two the two siblings were in the yard they are playing with sparkler very dangerous without adult supervision and what happened okay now we look at the next aspect ask question 5w1h on how process distance measurement quality how much how long how far kita akan bincang di sini okay yang saya perlu tekankan di sini you uh, you can use The question again and again, how? How many times you want to use in your story? No problem. Bukan sekali saja, no? How? Why? Okay, what happened? From the chapter, kamu boleh guna banyak kali, bukan sekali. Di sini, I only have around 45 to 50 minutes to share it with you, so I cannot show you uh, panjang. Jadi saya tunjukkan di mana kita nak guna saja. Okay, baik. Tengok sini. How did Zubi's finger got burned? Okay, bagaimana tangan Zubi terbakar? Okay, ini yang kita kata di proses berlakunya sesuatu perkara itu. What happened? Okay, panjang. In all the excitement, okay, ini perkataan besar. This is a big word so. Okay, in all the excitement dalam kusronokan itu, Zubi got careless. Zubi menjadi Try, and he was holding the fireworks. But nampak tak buat tu kita guna di sini ialah was because we are talking about things that had happened, perkara yang dah berlaku. Okay, in 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 we are telling things that happen berlaku. Okay, kita cerita ni dia panggil present continuous tense. Okay, Zubi got careless and he was holding the firework too close to his fingers, and his fingers got burned. Ini yang terjadi. So, not sangat. Uh, tak ada siapa yang larang. Okay. In all the assignments, Zubik got careless. So, he hold the fireworks too close to his fingers and his fingers got burned. Okay. Next question. He shouted and cried in pain as it was unbearable. Okay. Dia menjerit dan menangis kesakitan kerana, kerana uh, sakit itu tidak tidak tertahan oleh dia unbearable okay he shouted and cried in pain okay these are the words that you can use to make your story interesting to read okay interesting to read jadi kamu tahu di sini kita tahu he shouted and cried in pain and it was unbearable kita kita boleh bermain dengan perasaan pembaca kita 
we can touch them oh sakit okey and then saya bagi tahu bila kita dah tulis a good comprehension must have closure and of course bila ada penutup this is what this is my suggestion when we write a story we should add in a good moral value nilai-nilai murni okey when we tell a story apa tujuan kita cerita pasal kanak-kanak main bunga api? We want to tell them a good moral value that is dangerous to play uh, bunga api ni and what uh, apa yang kamu perlu buat, okay, apa yang kamu perlu lakukan yang mempunyai nilai-nilai yang baik. Okay. Kemudian, good moral value. Okay, I write this type of sentence. Zubi was taken to the nearby clinic. Zubi dihantar ke klinik berdekatan. His parents scolded him. Ibu bapa dia memarahi beliau. Scolded tu bukan tabuh, no? bukan pukul. Scolded tu maksudnya menegur, marah, tegur. Okay, teguran yang tegas. Scolded him. He promised that he will never play with sparkler again. Okay, ini nilai-nilai murni yang kita nak masukkan. Dia berjanji kepada ibu bapanya dan dia tidak akan lagi bermain dengan bunga api. Okay, this is just a short story. I'm using the 5W and 1H in one event, one event and one event. Satu-satu perkara saja untuk tunjuk kepada kamu bagaimana kamu nak guna. Okay, it doesn't mean uh, that's what the the topic today. That is why the topic is write short stories. Menulis cerita pendek, short write short story. Saya nak tunjuk bagaimana kamu nak guna the five W and one H and how to use it to write an interesting story to read. Okay, I hope uh, kamu dapat apa yang saya juga sampaikan hari ini. And you can go to the Facebook. And watch this again and again. Kamu boleh tengok berulang kali sepanjang minggu ini supaya kamu boleh tulis satu persatu. Kamu boleh pergi satu persatu. Kamu boleh pause dan kamu boleh tengok. You can able to write. Okay. What you can do afterward is you select a topic. Bukanlah tangan terkena mecun. Katalah apa-apa. Uh, melawat kebun durian, melawat kebun buah-buahan and write using the way using the spider web just now you list lang okay you jot down you brainstorm ideas in right and the most important thing is children that you must have a dictionary with you or uh, you can ask others for the meaning of word and how to spell it but um, agak Agak tak berapa bagus kalau kamu tanya orang ni sebab kamu tak belajar sendiri. If you look for the words in dictionary, then you learn. Benda yang kita cari sendiri, kita belajar, kita akan ingat sampai bila-bila. Okay, next. Jadi macam tu. In all the excitement, Zubay got callous and he was holding the fireworks too close to his fingers and his fingers got burned. He shouted and cried in pain as it was unbearable. Apa yang unbearable? The pain. Kesakitan itu tidak dapat ditanggung. Zubay was taken to the nearby clinic. His parents scolded him. He promised that he will never play with sparkler again. Okay? Habis. Write short story. Senang. Okay. Apa jadi ke tangan? Itu yang jadi sebenarnya. Okay? Now, Zubay have to celebrate Hari Raya dengan tangan yang berbalut. Itu cerita yang kita nilai, nilai yang kita nak sampaikan. Bahaya bermain bunga api. Okay, what will happen to you? Okay, now thank you for listening. Kita ada lebih kurang lagi lima minit sama-sama. Terima kasih kerana you spend your time uh, to listen to me, to watch me today. And I hope we can meet again in the near future. Kita akan jumpa lagi dalam sesi berikutnya. Insya Allah jika umur kita panjang. And then uh, nak share with you how to be a good storyteller. Bagaimana kamu nak menjadi seorang penyampai cerita yang bagus? Pertama, brainstorm, jot down all ideas. Kamu cari idea apa yang kamu nak tulis? Kamu tulis. Okey, jot down. Ini cara dia. Kemudian, use dictionary to find interesting words to use. Kalau kamu ada perkataan yang menarik, yang bahasa Melayu, but you do not have the word in English. What you have to do is to look for the word in dictionary and jot it down. Then what must you do? Write story with good flow of ideas. Kamu kena ingat, 
pernah ada wacana kronologi cerita apa yang berlaku apa yang berlaku dia tak boleh terus saja jadi benda tu okey balik kampung malam raya ibu bapa di dapur baru main mercun baru kena mercun pergi klinik okey kamu tulis flow itu dulu kamu catat catatkan dengan bertanya soalan 5W1H tadi okey baik remember ini memang every week I will remind you dan tadi pun saya dah sebut dictionary is your best friend Okay, I hope I have shared a good thing for you today and you have learned a lot from me and I hope uh, sepanjang kamu ada di rumah ni, you do not go to school, uh, duduk, take around half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour to write down, to try to write down a story on your own. Okay, baik, saya akan berhenti di sini. I hope that I will see you again uh, in the next session. InsyaAllah. Sekali lagi, saya nak mengucapkan selamat Hari Raya and please stay at home. Kita dah hampir-hampir menang dah melawan COVID-19. So, please stay at home. Jaga kebersihan. Wash your hands with soap. Ha, tak perlulah pakai sanitizer. Sedasa, tak. Kamu hanya perlu basuh tangan kamu 10 saat dengan sabun. Okay? And please stay at home. Uh, selamat Hari Raya again. And saya akan berhenti di sini. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Daripada Anas bin Malik radhiyallahu anhu berkata, Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam pernah berdoa, Allahumma inni a'udzu bika minal barasi wal jununi wal juzami wa min sayil asqam Ya Allah aku berlindung denganmu daripada penyakit sopa penyakit gila penyakit kusta dan penyakit-penyakit yang buruk Hadis diriwayatkan oleh Al-Imam Abu Daud dengan sanad yang sahih